YouTube, YouTube, after two long years, get off my back. I got this, I got this, I've heard enough. It's finally, finally, finally here, Chris Loco's YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, first and foremost. I appreciate everybody pushing me to do this. I know I procrastinate sometimes. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. It just happens, but I mean, it's here. The Local Blends, Chris Loco YouTube channel is finally here. So here's what I got in store for you guys. I'm gonna do the barber tutorials. I'm gonna give you guys my story. 100%, 100% transparent. On top of the barber tutorials, I'm also gonna give you guys some documentaries and it's gonna be from a few different barbers from around the game. Some new to the game, barber students, some old school OGs that have been in the game for a while. We're gonna get everybody's perspective. So. Without further ado, here's my first YouTube video. Hope you guys like it. Do me a favor at the end of this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, all right? Hit that for me, do that, come on. I've been missing for two years. I got a lot of catching up to do. All right, so let's start. This is my boy Tyson. I wanna say thank you to him, first of all, for being my first model. As you can see, he's wolfing right now. Hey, we're gonna have to take care of this. All right, so I start off with the three guard right here. And the reason I do this pretty much is just to remove the bolt. Um, it serves no other purpose than that, just to get the bulk out the way. And the three guard is closed. I don't like cutting blind, so. And now we're gonna take our one guard. We're gonna open it up so that it's technically a one and a half, I guess you could say. And we're gonna take this all the way around. And he kind of likes it about like a mid fade, closer to the high end. So we're gonna do this all the way around. Making sure you get all the hair even. And just in case you guys are wondering, I'm using the wall magic clips for those of you that don't aren't familiar with this clipper. Um, and I'm using the premium, the premium uh, wall blades here. Uh, guard, excuse me. Now we got the number two guard open. And I'm staying below that three, that initial three that I put. And you, you might see the teeth are going up into the three, but I mean the, the guard is going up into the three, but not the teeth itself. And then I'm going to close the two guard right here. And just follow it all the way around. Just trying to decrease some of that weight. Helping soften that guideline. Just a little bit. So now I got the one and a half guard and it's open. Again, just softening that weight line as I tie together the three into the one and a half. And then I'll close it and as you as you can see I'm using the corners a lot more with this, this uh, guard. Because the line's pretty much gone. But just in case any dark, dark spots or demarcation lines that I've seen, I'll kind of just corner them out. And this is huge right here. When you're doing a hard part or any like a clip over comb as I'm doing right now, you want to make sure you part the hair. And you want to make sure you part it evenly and properly and make sure that there's no strays hanging out. So clip over comb is huge. Some barbers use it, some barbers don't. I think it's huge as far as uh, speed technique as well. But um, for me, it just helps my blend makes it a little easier on myself it's all about the angle of the comb and um, using the shorter hairs below as a guideline head shape also plays a part as well you, know, if you got somebody who has a really round head and he's looking for more of a square look and that's gonna be huge to making sure that you get the right style and shape of the cut that your client's going for and add a little water here and you see if you comb the hair I mean haircut almost looks complete we'll do a little sheer work oh one thing I forgot to mention I am not using my own clippers here I'm actually using Mr. Mad Gifted Hands clipper setup um, I just had to make sure I recorded this cause uh, my man Tyson drives ways away to um Come get a haircut. So, so as you guys saw, I started off in the beginning, just giving myself a guideline, and I'm following that guideline all the way back. Making sure it's even on top. Shouts out to my boy Tyson from Ohio, man. 
going to UT. Doing big things, man. I'm just cleaning it up. Again, just making sure we're even all the way through. Using those guidelines set from the beginning. And I'm gonna do a little bit of shear over comb here. As you guys saw in the beginning, I did a little bit of clear clip over comb just to make sure you know it kind of softened up that weight line a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the detail work with the shear over comb. Get that hair to lay in properly. So we're gonna taper the back because. Tyson loves the clean taper in the back. Um, so I'm gonna start, I start my tapers by outlining uh, the edges. And then I'm gonna bring out that 5-0 detachable blade. And that and a shaver. Um, one thing I would recommend with the shaver to avoid that bald line that a lot of people struggle with is using it downwards and then upwards. I got the no guard open, half for some people. Then I'm gonna close it. And my whole method is open, close, in between, detail work. Open, close, in between, detail work. And as you guys can see, I'm slowly opening it up. That smooth transition. Then I got the one guard closed. If you guys remember, we started off with a one guard open, so I know I'm fading into that right now since I'm near the base of this haircut. So I got the one guard closed, and I'm gonna open it up halfway. Cause like I said, open, close, halfway. You just take out any lines of demarcation that I see. Always brushing, always brushing. If you guys didn't see that already. My man Christian Perez always says that. Had the half, the zero guard or the 116 guard open and closed it here. I'm gonna line them up using my wall heroes. My hitters, my hitters. Took off his little stubble that he got, a little beard that was growing. Like I said, he's wolfing, so I used that five zero to clean him up real quick. I pull that ear and cut him. And I got the slim lines, the LIs. And if you see, I have them upside down. So in two seconds, you'll notice I got the slim lines upside down to create that definitive line on the bottom. And then I flip them the right side up so I can get that definitive line on the top, making sure that both sides of the part are real precise and sharp. Now I'll come to this side and do the same thing. Again, using my wall heroes. Make sure to pull that ear down, stretch the skin. Like I said, these are my hitters. And they're they're not zero gap. They're as close as possible. I, I, I use these on my kids. I mean, I use these on a, a one-year-old, actually, to be honest with you guys. Without pinching or cutting them or anything like that. And those are the vintage ones. If you guys are wondering why they're silver, those are the vintage wall heroes. Pull his hair back and comb over it so I can get that nice shot. Got that 245 shave gel, best shave gel on the market. This is 245.com. Got the 245 razor. Here I'm going across the grain. Now I'm gonna go with the grain and then against the grain. You know, just achieving, doing what I gotta do to make sure I achieve that sharp edge. Taking off that peach fuzz for him. Got a lot of peach fuzz on his forehead. So right now, if you guys can't see, what I'm doing right now is I'm raising with the grain for the hard part. 
to make sure that the hard part pops out. And then I also razor against the grain. But I only do this um, if the, the client's skin, you know, allows me to. So I do this all the time when I'm out razor with and against the grain just to make sure it pops out. And, you know, this way the hard part lasts. And do the same thing on the other side. Sure you're pulling that skin. You guys can see I put the ear down, make sure I raise it behind the ear. It's probably one of the biggest pet peeves of mine. Client goes home and they got hair behind the ears. You guys, Christian Perez, one time I cut his hair, I did him like that. It, was, well, it didn't turn out too good. <laughs> I'm gonna style it, put a little bit of pomade in it. Normally I'll blow dry his hair, but you know, he was going home afterwards, so he was just like, I'll do pomade for now. And then I'm gonna just shear off any loose hairs that I see standing out to make sure it looks on point. And there you guys have it. The Comb Over with Hard Part by Chris Loco. Well, there you have it. My first YouTube video. Hope you guys learned a lot from it. Make sure you guys go hit that subscribe button. Do it. Smash that thumbs up for me. Do it. Leave any comments below. Do it. I appreciate it, y'all. Stay tuned for the next video. This is Chris Loco signing off.